In this video, I will show you how to quickly and simply turn a Word document into a beautiful web page. And we're going to do it using Microsoft Word and Microsoft Sway working together. So take a look at the document that I have here. We've got a title, we've got the text of the Gettysburg Address, and we have a couple of photos. And then I have a space here to include a link to a web page where people can learn more. And this does work really well as a Word document. I could print this out, I could share it with people, send it to people, save it as a PDF. There's lots of good things I could do with it just with Microsoft Word. But take a look at this option that we have. If I go to File, there's an option right here to transform this document. So I can click Transform, and it opens up this Transform to Web Page panel at the right. This gives me a preview of some of the possible styles that I could use. And notice that it does mention Microsoft Sway. This will be an interactive, easy to share Microsoft Sway web page that looks great on mobile devices as well as laptops, desktop computers, etc. So here where it says style, I could use these arrows and this slider to pick a different style. Maybe I like this look better than the default look or this one. So I do have some options to quickly choose a style that I might like. To be honest, I kind of like the first one that it showed. So I'll select that. I click transform and it takes me to my new Microsoft Sway document that really is a web page. Notice what it says, this web page is private, only you can view the document. It's encouraging me to invite others to view the content by going to the share button. So that's the default. Automatically when this is created, it's private just to me, but we'll look at how we can change that later. Now as we browse down the page, look at how beautiful this is. When a photo comes into view, it kind of goes bigger, kind of subtly. And this is laid out pretty well, but it is just text and images. How could I make this a little more interactive? Well, back in Microsoft Word, if I had included the URL for people to learn more about Abraham Lincoln, let's look at how that would have been different. So now, when we get down to the bottom of the document, there's a link there that can be easily clicked. So that does make this a little more interactive. Now if I want to, before I make this public, I could click Edit and make some changes from within Microsoft Sway. If you haven't already watched my tutorial on Sway, I would encourage you to do so. But here in Sway, I could easily move the content around. Maybe I want the image to be underneath the text card here. Maybe I want the photo of Abraham Lincoln to have different focus points. So I could adjust that. This will change how the image is shown in Sway. I could add captions. There's just a lot of good things that I could do to adjust my web page. And again, please watch my tutorial on Sway. You'll understand better how to do this. I'll click play to get back to the web page itself. And now let's look at the share options. If I click on share, I can set up this web page to be accessible to just specific people or groups. Or I could share it to everyone in my organization that has the link or just anyone in the general public that has a link. In my case, this is what I want. I want this to work basically like any other web page. Do I want people to be able to just view it or edit it? In this case, definitely just view. Here's the link for the web page, and I can just click this button to copy it. Look at these other fun options as well. I could quickly, easily tweet it, send it to Facebook, LinkedIn. I can also embed this web page onto another page or in a document or things like that. So the embed code option is pretty exciting. You can also get a visual link. It gives me a thumbnail, and I can copy paste this into an email message or other kind of message, and then people will be able to click this to be able to go to my Sway web page. You can see that there's also more options below that. I'm just going to stick with this link here, and I'm going to sign out of my account. And now let's see what happens when I paste in that address and just go to it. Again, I'm not signed in at all, but I'm able to access this document that I made in Microsoft Word. And then I simply clicked File, Transform. I clicked to transform it into a Sway, made some edits, made some adjustments, and then shared it publicly. And now this is a web page available to the general public online. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll find information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. 
Thank you so much for all you do to support my channel. And honestly, I do appreciate all of my Patreon supporters. Once again, if you'd like to learn more about Sway, please watch my tutorial on Microsoft Sway. Thank you.